Hello students from Cyprus. I'm in Kiti today, which is right near where we live. Kiti is a village that uh, was settled upon the ancient site of Kition, which according to Cyprus history was originally founded by Kitim, who was the great grandson of Noah. And they even celebrate a huge holiday here called Cataclismos, which is our, our word cataclysm. They're celebrating the end of the flood. It's a big festival time. And one of the most famous churches in Cyprus is what I'm going to show you today. And during that festival, this place is alive with a lot of activities. Okay, so this is a Byzantine church in Kiti that was built in the 11th century. And it has the foundations of a 5th century church. And we'll go inside in a minute and see the, the most famous part of this is a mosaic. Uh, but I wanted you to see the outside, the domes. This is an Orthodox, Christian Orthodox church. Um, beautifully constructed. And according to the legend, when they decided to build this church and dedicate it to the Virgin Mary, the Panagia, they noticed that the church had moved overnight its foundations. And so this miracle happened and when they continued to build, they noticed that at night, angels came down to help build it. And so this is part of the, the lore attached to this church. This is a central plan church, which is what the eastern side of Christianity preferred back then. And there's the front. Now we'll go inside. See the beautiful stonework, vaulted ceiling. It's a wooden cross. Wow, so pretty with the light filtering in. See the Bibles here. Here at the front, you can see the icons, the images of the saints and of Jesus and Mary. Take a closer look at some of these icons, if we can get it good. View here. So you can see glass halfway up over the icon, and that's because worshipers come by and kiss these icons. Okay, the Byzantine style is very prevalent here with the gold background, the halo, the, the harsh painting style of the features. Now we'll see the famous mosaic. And this is showing Mary in the middle holding Jesus in her left arm. And on her left and right, um, we have angels. At the very top in Greek, it says, Aya Maria, which is the Virgin Mary. 
And if you compare this to your mosaic in the textbook of Justinian and attendance, and then Theodora and attendance, those two mosaic styles are very similar to this one because they were produced at the same time. This is from Justinian's period. And the light's not that great for seeing all of this, but um, maybe around the, the feet of Mary, you can see the tiny, tiny pieces of gold, um, which actually covers the whole background, the gold mosaic tiles. Beautiful. And just the rest of the area back here. This is behind a screen, so the worshipers are not allowed to back there. Only the priests are allowed back there. I'm trying to give you the feeling of a central plan um, church here. And down here we can see where they've overlaid glass, um, showing some of the original foundation through there. Okay, so here's from the back. Okay, so this is the um, Byzantine church, Panagia Angeloktizi, which is the Virgin Mary um, church built by angels.